Nicole, how's it going? Hey, Nicole, I think your parcel is uh, has arrived. So, I should be going to pick it up a little bit later. Robert, how's it going, man? How's it going? And Robert, uh, yesterday I was talking to uh, Tom for quite a bit. So, yeah, we had a really good time. Everybody else is just tuning in. Welcome, welcome. Charlotte, how are you, my love? I can't wait to speak to you. And Derek Hull, thank you so much, everybody else, for tuning in. Can you just type in where you are tuning in from right now? I just really need to know who is watching these videos. Shane Peters, how are you going? How are you going? Everybody else, thank you so much. And Abdul, how are you, man? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so everybody else that's in now, I think this is all we need, everybody. Whoever is going to join us can catch up with us. Um, as you would know, my name is Prosper Tarovinga, and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. We're a done-for-you service company here in Melbourne where we help people to craft businesses that are actually profitable and enjoyable as it is my belief that everybody else has to have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable shungu patsika makorogo choka magatenga din can you type in and um, let us know how you're going? Are you excited about the new digs, man? Abdul, thank you so much. And Rick Martinez, como estas? Uh, Nicole, Rolla of the R's in the name Prosper. <laughs> Steven Snedden, thank you so much. And Steven Snedden, congratulations on your launch. I saw the videos. Sorry, I get a little bit busy, but you know I'm always supporting you guys 100%. All right. Okay. So like I was saying, guys, I actually believe everybody, every one of us that's putting in the work, everybody else that's putting in, um, you know, the, 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 the greed, the sweat equity deserves to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I feel like it is my duty and everybody else that calls themselves a coach or somebody else in a position to help those, um, you know, that are willing and able to actually start a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So I also believe one once you now have that business, you need to be creating for and you need to be relating to all of those people you're going to be demanding money off of. That's the reason why every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, without fail, I show up so that I can share with you what's working, what's not working, and also share with you a simple four-step system that I designed that helps coaches, consultants, service providers uh, to actually package brand, market your services so that you have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. So if you would allow me or indulge me for a second, I'll just show you exactly what I talk about, why this is important and why you should actually start paying attention to these live shows every single day. Okay. So you need to capture the right kind of people with the right kind of pain so that you can show them the right kind of payoff with the right kind of product. All right. And then pretty much when, once those people are within your um, ecosystem, you need to provide them with the right kind of content that content is going to be designed to engage them you educate them and you inspire them while providing them with value and you're positioning yourself as the go-to person for that service that you actually do provide to the people you're going to be demanding money off of them from and then pretty much after that all you're doing is you're just collecting those people you um you're farming them instead of you hunting them every single day you're solving their problems and you're you know just doing online marketing with a few calls to action telling them to just go to a certain site plug in their email address etc etc and then in the process you measure and track you use what's working and you continue using that and what's not working, you let that go. Pretty much where that puts you is you start connecting with your people, you create relationships and what we all want is authority, isn't it? And you start branding yourself, you have a community around your products and you also build brand loyalty and ambassadors so you you no longer have to sell and all you have to do is just pretty much repeat this cycle over and over and over again. So every single day um, at 2 p.m. AEST, I pick on a topic around this because this has now become my life project. This has become what it is that I do so that I can help you curate an online footprint within your business. Okay, once you have that footprint, you optimize it for business growth and you start getting the profits that we all want. Now, wouldn't that be nice? 
okay? I'll also help you build systems around your work and so that your business starts operating on autopilot. But before you do that, ladies and gentlemen, y'all got to start putting in the work. People have to know you. People have to trust you. And people really have to like you in order to do business with you, okay? But don't you worry. It's so simple. You can do that easily once you engage them with content, once you educate them on as to what should they want and expect from you. Just like I've educated every single one of my followers to tune in at 2 p.m. every single day to get a value-packed session of our Lunch and Learn. All right, so that's just simply how it is. You can scroll off and go off somewhere else, but if you really want to, um, you know, listen to what I have packed for this show today, just sit back and relax and um, tell me something. What are you drinking right now? I'm gonna take a swing of my water. Let's go. Tell me what beverage you have on right now because you're going to be in for the long haul. So you might as well come hydrated. You might as well come prepared. Or what sort of snacks are you enjoying at the moment? Okay. And Robert has got a hot tea. Ah, oh, I envy you, brother. Austin, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, good on you, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nicole, why do you need a Gatorade? Huh? Get away, get ahead. <laughs> good stuff. Ah, oh, the orange flavor. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, so people are coming to the internet, guys, to get information. All right? And um, if they're not getting it from you, somebody else is providing them with that content or that information. So you really... Oh, H2O with a dip of tobacco, unfortunately. Are you trying to quit uh, smoking there, Austin? Are you trying to quit smoking? Is that why you've got a hint of tobacco um, in, your, in your water? Because if you really want to stop smoking, I used to smoke for ages, all right? And then I just stopped. First of all, I had a purpose in my life. And second of all, it only takes you three seconds to get over, um, you know, a craving. So once you know that, you would know that you are better and you're stronger than three seconds of a craving. Try that. And whoever is also watching here, there's another piece um, you know, of information that can be valid for you. You are stronger and better than three seconds, um, you know, of wanting, uh, you know, a craving or for the want of a smoke. Now, let me not digress. I was still talking about content, guys. If you are, you know, if you are an entrepreneur and if you really want people to start paying attention to you, you have to give them a reason to. And content is the only way you can have that um, you know, happening. This right here, you guys sitting on here, the whole 17 of you guys that are watching live and whoever's going to be watching this in post-production, this is content. This is me delivering to you and showing you my expertise in the subject matter that I am claiming money for at the end. Okay. So you really want to show people that you're confident. You really want to show people that you're there and you're going to be there for them. People are now tired of one click wonders. So if your mission is to just go in there and grab them by the, I'm afraid that only works for Trump. All right. So if you're providing information that actually helps them solve a problem that they might be having at, um, you know, at, at, at any particular, uh, point, you know, they would really, really appreciate it. Can you imagine if you are going through a hardship and then a friend or a person just gives you a tidbit of advice that will actually save you money, time and effort? Would you not feel obliged to, um, you know, obligated to thank them or to reciprocate that with something else in the future? Now, unfortunately, our customers only can reciprocate with their credit cards. So the more you guilt them into wanting to reciprocate with you, the more you are putting yourself in a position that they're going to be doing business with you in the future. And in any case, you're actually helping them by actually helping them with your content. All right. So they'll start to trust you more. You know, it increases the chances of them buying from you and your, your products or your services or whatever it is you're going to be recommending to them. Right. So you really want to make sure that you are at the forefront and you are ahead of your competition because a lot of people, I don't want to lie to you guys, a lot of people are not putting content out there. A lot of people, even if they're putting out content, it's mediocre stuff or it's just a copy and paste maybe from somebody else who's 
you know, three profiles ahead of them or some book or something like that. Nobody is genuinely putting in their own, you know, mindset or their own thought or things like that. All right. Karadi and Fali, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at right there. Okay. So when people start trusting you, it takes a while for them to build that trust. Back in the time, it used to be maybe six to seven touch points. But now that people are so glued to their phones and they're consuming oodles amounts of content, you want to make sure that you're always top of mind of your customers. Out of sight, out of mind. All right. Whatever space you are not feeling, your competition is filling that space. And I, it, it will take you a, a long time for you to get back that trust, to get that engagement, to get that education that you can just flawlessly do with your, um, you know, with, with your content. These days, look at this. We are now living outside the 24 hour box. All right. If you if you if you're on on the Internet and you're sort of a coach or you're a service provider, your clients may be anywhere else in the world, but you're not going to be there for them 24 seven. Your content will be there for them. All right. So you can start creating those relationships even when you're sleeping. All right. You constantly need to be engaging with an audience. You constantly need to be educating them on what you can provide, how you provide it, and you know, you know how you know the results that you can get people. Because every second person is now an entrepreneur now. So how are you going to be standing, you know, apart from all those um, wannabes that are just you know taking up space and making a lot of noise on the internet? As a seasoned entrepreneur, which I think you are, 2018, you really got to show up. You really got to put out content there so you create the relationships with the people that you're going to be asking money off of. All right? I mean, it's, it's, it's just plain simple. If you're not showing up for the people you're going to be asking money from, how do you think that they're going to remember you on the time that they actually want to make a, you know, a transaction? All right, so you got to be putting out content at multiple stages of your, your marketing funnel. Kylie, how's it going, Kylie Doggan? Thank you so much for tuning in. And Michael, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah? So every step of your client's journey, every step of your, you know, you know your, my, your client making a decision that they can actually work with you, you need to be giving them a reason to hang on to your message, to hang on to your content. Yeah? And uh, Austin says, hey, man, on a side note, live your library for sure. Okay, I'll tell you how this library came about. First of all, most of the books, I get them from a thrift, uh, thrift shop. And second of all, I asked a lot of people to purchase a few books for me for my birthday. So I just continuously grow it like that. And you know what? You get a lot of content by, um, you know, immersing yourself with new tricks, new, um, you know, uh, you know, be because... I heard somewhere where they say, if you really want to hide information for people, put it in a book. That's the reason why a few people are not putting out content there because they're not confident of their own knowledge. Just give yourself time to read. And once you start doing that, you will have, um, you know, content at your fingertips and people get to trust you. You know why? Because they know you're the man for the job. Trevor, Davey Ago, Waswera Moshe. Eh, was on phone and All right. So, I, I seriously have a rule in my business and everybody else that I'm working with that I do not pitch to anyone until I've provided enough value. You know where that places me on, on the hierarchy of all the people that are, uh, you know, just trying to be uh, marketing experts out there because they have a scarcity mindset that they can't give out their information up until, you know, somebody has, um, you know, somebody has paid them. Well, how are people going to know that you can help them if you don't actually help them by helping them? This is what it is these days. If you are not helping your customers, if you are not showing them that you've got value, if you are not, um, you know, putting stuff out there to actually show them that you're the man for the job, how are they going to know? Because whatever position and whatever space you're not filling in, in, in the newsfeed, somebody is filling it. And guess what is happening? They're also filling their, their, their wallet. So you want to make sure that you are educating your, 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 your clients, you are positioning yourself, and you're actually providing value. All right? And uh, Austin says, I have read 100 books. Still worry about live videos, though. 
Just fucking hate it to be real. Okay. In 2018, I don't want to lie to you, man. The more video time you have, the more money you have in your bank. This is how it's going to be. Do you know what I mean? Most small businesses see uh, video content production as if it is ex expensive. But look at this. I'm creating 30-minute videos that I take off from Facebook Live and then I put on LinkedIn, I put on YouTube, I, I cut off a few bits of them so that they can, um, you know, so they can be put on, on, on Instagram. So I've con provided how many different content pieces with only one take. All right? So the more you're going to be avoiding it, the more people are not going to know how else you can actually provide help for them. There's a lot of people that need inspiration out there. I just show up and a lot of people already, um, you know, are excited about me being here. And then I make their day. I make it real for them to, 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 to wake up and start doing stuff for their own clients. However, whatever way, man, you've got to start creating videos um, that don't actually blow your bank. You can use Zoom. Zoom is free. All right. You just go into Zoom and, and, and go into a meeting with yourself, record yourself. That already is content. I don't know if you've seen. I've already started creating a show that is becoming very, very popular just by recording um, interviews of mine on Zoom. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, there's so much good news about it because Facebook is now also making um, video you know, a bigger priority. They are now becoming a video only platform. So if you are still saying that you are, um, you hate it or you're not enjoying it, I'm afraid you actually hate money if you're saying that. Yeah. So you got to keep practicing up until you can bring out something that's good. Another good news about creating video content is that you don't even have to brainstorm on new ideas. You can actually repurpose some of your, your, your pre-existing written content into videos. Have you ever heard of um, uh, a program called Lumen5? I think the guys from Sneeply or something created that. All right. Do you know, can you type in if you know the program called Lumen5? So if you write a blog, they can translate that blog into a piece of video for you. Yeah. So you just have to constantly be on the lookout of how can you actually do it? If you can't be the person on the video, hire or find somebody who can help you do that. All right. And, and while, while I'm saying that, because the thing is, uh, my, okay, English is not my first language. So I can't literally write, you know, for crying out loud. But what I do is I speak to the camera like this and then it gets transcribed into a blog. All right. All right. So don't kill your blog just yet. I know we're still in 2017, which means, you know, written content is not as important as, as, as video, but it will be maybe in 2021. So you want to make sure that your blog, your, any written content is there and any written content is actually really good for SEO. I don't know if you guys are well versed with search engine optimization. Yeah. Are you, are you guys well versed with uh, search engine optimization, SEO? It's, it's actually what I do as a business. My main core business is to actually help people with SEO. And this is how I break down SEO. SEO can just be broken down into two things. First of all, you need to optimize your content so that Google can index it and find it when clients are searching for it. And then you just need to have authority on that content to make sure that Google can trust that you are the right person to be delivering that content. So the more you, you put out there, the more authority you actually start gaining. And when people are searching out there, they will find your stuff. You know why? Because you're actually present. Kevin Justice PT, thank you so much for tuning in. And Bersha, how's it going, my man? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, optimization is really, you know, making sure that Google, um, you know, optimization is making sure that Google can actually understand what you do and what keywords are you targeting and what services and what products are you actually selling? At the end of the day, you are who Google says you are. So if you're not putting out content out there and people are starting to look for things or services within your niche, you don't have any videos and you probably don't have some sort of steady or, you know, justifiable, you know, uh, social media presence. 2018 might not be your year. Yeah.
So you want to make sure that you're putting out stuff there. People are always searching, you know, for information. People want to know how, you know, how to do stuff. Most of us are service providers that are plumbers, uh, lawyers, um, you know, the reason why you are in that industry is because somebody needs that service. But how are they going to know that you can do that if you're not putting stuff out there for them to, to consume on and then make an, a, a decision that you're the right kind of person that can help them? You know? There's, there's a lot of, um, you know, ways of creating content, but I think a lot of us are not really doing as much. I'm not saying be on a video 24 seven, but have something at least that shows who you are, your story and how people can actually get a hold of you. There's another thing that a lot of people are not doing. So this is, this is also what I'm doing with the, with this content that I'm putting out there. Um, um, the videos are taken off onto, um, YouTube and then they're transcribed. Now I'm putting out an ebook at the end of this year, which I think I'm going to be putting out an ebook every single year of all the videos that I've done. All right. So guess where this is all going to go? It's going to go on Amazon. Amazon is the biggest traffic source that a lot of people can uh, have not realized how to tap into. People are out there searching for knowledge. They already raised up their hand to say, you know what? I'm looking for something in marketing. So let me go in and find out. And guess what? I'll have an ebook or I'll have some sort of, you know, whatever it is, tools that you have already sitting on Amazon because that's already a targeted audience. All right. So when, you know, there's a few companies that are, you know, founders, they've probably written um, a lot of blogs. Combine all of those. I'm not saying you have to write 100 pages or 300 page doorstop. You know, just write something between 50 pages or 100 pages that can provide your clients or your p potential clients, you know, some sort of information that they need to know about choosing the right company. All right. Ebooks are where it's at right now, especially when somebody is maybe um, transiting or going somewhere. They might just want to be reading from their Kindle or whatever. If you put links in there, they'll go straight from Amazon to to the, to, to to your ebook, from your ebook, and straight ahead to your website. Instead of you going in fighting and punching everybody else, um, you know who who doesn't even know what they're talking about on social media. Go to where the people are already uh, are already sitting around and 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 you know ready to 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 consume your content, but just make sure it's packaged nicely and you know you can also include chapters with a lot of advice. You guys know a lot, but you are not putting yourself out there enough, especially in your specific industries. And guess what? This will do. It will start educating you know your leads about what they can expect in regards to the issues of how you actually address them and how you differentiate yourself in the market. Can you imagine? Once you have somebody reading your book or something like that, you know what I mean? It's you and them. It's personal. It's intimate. Huh? Can you imagine? You have all the, uh, the 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 room to actually manipulate their mind and show them what it is that you're doing. Instead of you fighting with people with Facebook ads that are not even converting, just put all your content together into an ebook, place it on Amazon. And then, yes, as Steven says, you can then upsell them and then put it. It's become so easy. You know, it's like creating a cheat sheet for your potential customers. And they have you in their Kindle. And so you are you're really close to them. You have all, you know, if you're really good at what you're doing, you can influence them. Yeah, so you can now start standing apart by just doing one simple thing from the Facebook Live, like I'm talking about here. You can take this off and then put it onto YouTube. That's the reason why I put it on as landscape like this. And then in the future, when Facebook Watch is ready, I will be putting in all those videos so that people that haven't heard about me would continuously, um, you know, binge watch my stuff. And that's the reason why I make evergreen content. I never go in and start talking about specific platforms. I never talk about specific strategies, you know, that are time sensitive. I talk about classic material. You know why? Because I know where I want this content to go. Building the legacy, bro. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? So this in 2030 is still going to be valid. This in 2050 is going to be valid. And hey, you future person watching in 2099, guess what? By 2017, we did not have that fancy phone you're watching this from right now. Just type in what model iPhone you're on right now so that we, we can, we can, you know, you can show off to us. We're way in the past here. See, I'm just talking to people in the future. You know what? Because I know this is now written in stone and it will last and transcend me and you and everybody else that's watching it right now. That's all it is, guys. And it will be worth it. It will be worth it. All right? So I really want to help you get close to your customers. All right? I'll repeat exactly how the blueprint works. All right? So, ah. Uh, Rick says you should talk about the life of Rick.com so they'll check me out um, and all your media. Exactly. And guess what? Um, hey, future people, do you guys use GIFs um, anymore? We, we used to have the god of GIFs. His name is Rick Martin. And every time I post something, he always has a GIF ready for me. I don't know if you call them a GIF or a GIF. All right. So type in and let us know if in the future GIFs are still relevant. Yeah. All right. See, there you go. I just gave you a little plug there, Rick, Ricky Martin. All right. And if and if you're going to be haunting these people in the future, please don't. All right. <laughs> All right. So, guys, this is it. And I'm really excited about this. You know what? It's easy for me. Um, it's something that I created. You two can create something of your own that you can actually continuously talk about. You know what? With energy, with zeal, and you know that it actually works because people are coming to the internet to get information. And if your business or your brand is the one that's providing that content, guess what happens? They get to know you, they get to trust you, and they get to like you. All right? So this is how it works out. You figure out the right kind of people with the right kind of pain and the right kind of payoff that your product can give them and whatever product it is that you're going to be offering them make sure it suits the person suits the um, the pain they have and the payoff and then put out massive amounts of content so that you can engage them educate them and inspire them to want more be more and engage with your business a whole lot more while you're providing value i think it should be a rule by 2020, I don't think people are going to be buying from you if you haven't provided enough value for them to actually get to know you, like you, and trust you, all right? And while you're doing that, you're positioning yourself as one of the greatest, all right? Okay, and then all you're doing is pretty much just, um, you know, farming for those clients, you're solving their problems, measuring and tracking what's actually working and ditching what's not working and just putting in calls to action. And one call to action right now is if you haven't gotten a copy of this blueprint, type in the word blueprint right now and I'll... See, I'm sending this to you. I'm sending this to you so that you too can have this, um, you know, so that you can actually start creating and relating for the people you're going to be demanding money off of. All right? So it's, it's very simple. It's something that you and me can do 30 minutes a day where you actually sit down and figure out what do I know that somebody uh, might not be aware of? What do, what am I specializing in that other people are dying to learn? I'll tell you something, your life story and your experience have greater commercial value than you can ever possibly think of. All right. A little story, I've got a two-year-old girl, and today's International uh, Girls' Day. To all the girls out there, shout out to everybody else that's doing well in life. And mom, thanks for tuning in. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so I was still saying, um, for those people that think that what they have to offer is of no value. I've got a two-year-old girl. Her name is Kalia. Uh, naughty as she is, she's almost a three-nager now, all right? So every single time we are out there walking or whatever, she kept falling. She kept tripping on her shoelaces, and I figured, you know what? Let me just teach her how to tie her shoelaces, all right? What did I do? Two seconds of my time in, in me learning and teaching her how to tie her shoelaces have translated to a lifetime lesson, all right. Now she doesn't trip. She doesn't embarrass herself and she doesn't fall. There's no more bruises. And I don't get that little nyeg, 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 daddy, daddy, wait for me. And she's tripping every time. All right. So you can imagine what it is that you already know right now that you can impart onto somebody else who doesn't quite know how you do your work or how you can serve them. Put our content there. And there's a lot of other channels that you can do that for. 
A lot of people cannot put out content. You know why? Because they are afraid of what other people will think of them. But guess what? Time, money, and effort is not waiting for you to get ready. All right? 2018 is going to be the year of the video. 2018 is going to be the year where people are consuming double the amount of content that we're consuming at the moment. So you got to be ready if you really want to stay relevant. You got to be ready if you're going to be demanding money off of people, um, you know, in, 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 in the future. And guess what? There is 2 billion people that have connected to Facebook. There's still yet another 5 billion people that haven't yet been connected. And guess what? There's people like Elon Musk, um, Mark Zuckerberg that are working day and night to make sure that they bridge that information gap. Before you know it, it's not going to be relevant that you live in Australia or in the States. We're now going to be a global village. If you haven't got anything to start building your own empire or building your own economy or building your own life and future and relevance, I don't know what else is there, guys. All right. So this has been Prosper. I hope today's show was okay for you to your standard. Um, if not, I'm sorry. It's only because maybe you are not ready yet to actually start creating and relating for those that matter to you. Try the Amazon thing. Let me know how it works. And if you want a copy of the blueprint, type in the word blueprint at the bottom. And if you've watched this video from start till end, um, I'm going to ask you to share this video. You know why? We spoke to the people in the future um, and we want to reach out a whole lot more. And at the end of the day, if, if I can be of service to you, I really, really want that you understand that your life story is of greater importance than anything else you could ever dream of. All right. There's somebody out there who doesn't quite know what you know, be of value. And I know you're not selfish because the more you are keeping everything else to yourself, you're probably just being selfish. And guess what happened to Kodak? They had schematics and they had all the information about how they could um, take over the world. But guess what? Wrong timing. They were holding on to information. They could have just implemented and let people um, utilize it. Time is moving. All right. You want to be also moving with the times. Don't be like Kodak. Don't be like Yahoo. You want to be that one person who's going to be having a business that's profitable and enjoyable. This has been Prosper. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed making this show and I hope you enjoyed watching it too. Please share this. All right. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.